Yeah, that is the fear, you know. So many people have brought their cattle here and their livestock to showcase them here at the State Fair. And despite the rain that we had today, the topic of conversation is still this long running drought and the impacts it's going to have moving forward. At the State Fair, where agriculture is center stage. They ain't got weight on them and they ain't that, they ain't feeling healthy. They don't, whatever, they just can't produce like they used to do. The drought that started this summer is the big topic at the fair this fall. Cattlemen have brought in their livestock to showcase and admit they are paying more to get them to market. Well, as you have to feed more, that's going to increase your cost, which is going to then in turn go to your customer for increased prices on meat, dairy, like we're showing today. The big impact from this brutal long dry run has been the lack of hay production. It has forced cattlemen to use their stored hay now to feed their animals when they normally would have saved it for winter. But I would say, you know, 10 to 15 percent would not be out of the realm of possibility. That is how much the Mississippi Cattlemen's Association thinks beef prices could rise. Not now, but six months from now, because many cattle operations are having to sell their herds rather than face the rising costs of keeping them. So that's a limiting factor in getting people to buy back in and restock their herds uh, on cow prices. So I, I see this lasting for several years. Long term concern, my concern is we're going to have fewer beef producers in this country than we've had in a lot longer than 1959. Wednesday's rain was a welcome sight, even at a fair event that frowns on rain because of its impact on attendance. Well, we do have such a reaching the ground. It's just a very small amount, and it's not really going to make a tremendous impact into our drought. The National Weather Service says the region is desperately needing more sustained rain to end this drought that so far has shown no signs of letting up. What we would really like to see is six to eight inches of a good soaking rainfall, and it probably would need to come from two or three different events to make sure that we can actually get that in place to soak it in and try to end this drought. Yeah, our meteorologists say that's not likely to happen anytime soon, but for cattle producers, they're continuing to hope for more state and national help and offsetting the, offsetting the costs of getting their cattle to market. They hope that they can get their products to market soon. Right now, because so many people are selling their beef cattle, the beef prices have gotten a little better, but they're not expected to stay that way. We're live at the fairgrounds. Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News.